we have a square plate on which we have these three forces f f root 2 and f we need to find the equivalent force if the point of application of that force is on the side bc so the equivalent force wherever we are applying on the side bc that should yield the same net force on the plate and about its center of mass O that should yield the same torque also then that equivalent force can be replaced by these three forces so let's start from the net force and net torque about center of mass O so F net you can see so this is F root 2 so we can break it in two components F and F so this F will cancel this F so net force is 2F I cap and about center of mass net torque so again you can see torque because of this force and this force will cancel each other and this force is also passing through the center so net torque torque is only because of this force and if we are assuming the side to be A the net torque will be F into A by root 2 and direction is inside the plane now let equivalent force so because the magnitude and direction of the net force is 2 fi cap so wherever that force is on the bc its magnitude and direction is going to be 2 fi cap so let equivalent force 2 fi cap on bc lie at a distance l from o like this so now about center of mass equivalent torque should be same too so this is the torque because of the three individual forces and now because of this force also torque should be same so torque will be 2f into l is equal to f a by root 2 now you can see that i have taken the l upwards because the torque is inside the plane so directions are basically same both in both the cases now so 2fl is equal to f into a by root 2 which gives l is equal to a by 2 root 2 now because we have assumed the side to be a this length is a by root 2 a cos 45 and l comes to be a by 2 root 2 that means this point is at the middle of ob which means this point should also be in the middle of BC. So that's our point of application. So our answer is equivalent force to Fi cap will be applied at midpoint of BC. All right.